measures of central tendency for ungrouped data. It has been observed that when data are arranged in the increasing order, most of the terms in the data seem to be crowded or clustered in the central part. This tendency is called a central tendency of the data and a number around which there is concentration of terms of the data is called a measure of central tendency or a measure of location. We will study the following measures of central tendency, mean, median and mode. First we will learn how to find the mean of raw data. Then we will find the mean of ungrouped data. Mean of raw data. If x1, x2 and so on till xn are given observations in numbers, then mean x bar is defined as x bar is equal to x1 plus x2 plus so on up till plus xn upon n which is also equal to sigma xi upon n. Now answer the following questions. Find the mean of the following set of numbers 26, 19, 13, 37, 31 and 15. The answer is mean is equal to sigma xi upon n where sigma xi is the sum of the observations and n is the number of observations. Therefore, mean is equal to 26 plus 19 plus 13 plus 37 plus 31 plus 15 upon 6 which is equal to 141 upon 6 equal to 23.5. Therefore, the mean of the given numbers is 23.5. Question 2. If the mean of 20, 18, k and 23 is 20, find the value of k. Now, mean is sigma xi upon n, where sigma xi is the sum of the observations and n is the number of observations. Sigma xi is 20 plus 18 plus k plus 23, which is equal to 61 plus k. n is equal to 4. The mean is given to be 20. Substituting we get 20 is equal to 61 plus k upon 4. Simplifying we get k is equal to 19. Now how do we find mean of ungrouped data? Let x1, x2 and so on up till xn be the observations with frequencies f1, f2 and so on till fn x1 as frequency f1, x2 as frequency f2 and so on. Therefore, x1 plus x1 plus so on up to plus x1 f1 times is equal to f1 x1. x2 plus x2 and so on till plus x2 f2 times is equal to f2 x2. That's the sum of all observations is f1 x1 plus f2 x2 plus so on till plus fn xn. The total number of observations are f1 plus f2 plus so on till plus fn. Therefore mean is equal to f1 x1 plus f2 x2 plus so on till plus fn xn upon f1 plus f2 plus so on till plus fn which is equal to sigma fi xi upon sigma fi. Sigma fi is equal to n therefore mean is equal to sigma fi xi upon n. Now answer the following questions. Find the mean of the following distributions. The solution is as follows. F1 x1 is equal to 2 into 7 equal to 14. F2 x2 is equal to 4 into 8 equal to 32. 
f3x3 is equal to 5 into 10 equal to 50. And f4x4 is equal to 6 into 15 equal to 90. Here, sigma fixi is equal to 186. And n equal to sigma fi equal to 40. Therefore, mean is equal to sigma fi xi upon n equal to 186 upon 40 equal to 4.65. Let's solve question 4 from exercise 7.6. The average monthly salary of 20 employees in a company is rupees 7650. If the manager's salary is added, the average salary increases by rupees 550 per month. What is the manager's monthly salary? The solution is as follows. It is given that the average of monthly salary of 20 employees is rupees 7650. Therefore, the sum of the monthly salary of 20 employees is 7650 into 20 which is equal to rupees 1 lakh 53000 if the manager's salary is added the average salary is increased by rupees 550 therefore the new average is 7650 plus 550 which is equal to 8,200. Therefore, the sum of 21 employees' salary is equal to 8,200 into 21, which is equal to rupees 1,72,200. Therefore, the difference between the sums is equal to 1,72,200 200 minus 1,53,000 which is equal to rupees 19,200. Therefore, the manager's monthly salary is rupees 19,200. Now we will learn about median. Median. When the values in the data are arranged in the ascending or descending order, the median divides the data into two equal parts. If the n observations, that is numbers, are arranged either in an ascending or in a descending order of magnitudes, and if n is odd, then the median is a n plus 1 upon tooth term. If n is even, then the median is the arithmetic mean of the two middle observations that is the arithmetic mean of n upon tooth and n upon two plus one -th term. Now answer the following questions. Find the median of the following values 12, 4, 6, 9 and 10. The solution is as follows. The observations in the ascending order are 4, 6, 9, 10 and 12. The number of observations is n is equal to 5. Since n is odd, the median is n plus 1 upon tooth term. That is 5 plus 1 upon 2 which is equal to 6 upon 2 equal to third term. Since the third term is 9, the median is 9. Question 2. Find the median of the following values. 30, 21, 26, 40, 16 and 29. The solution is as follows. The observations 
in the ascending order are 16, 21, 26, 29, 30 and 40. The number of observations n is equal to 6. Since n is even, the median is n upon 2 term plus n upon 2 plus 1 term upon 2, which is equal to 6 upon 2 plus 6 upon 2 plus 1 term upon 2, which is the third term plus the fourth term upon 2, equal to 26 plus 29 upon 2, which is equal to 55 upon 2, equal to 27.5. Question 3. Obtain the median for the following frequency distribution. The solution is as follows. First, let us find the cumulative frequency of the less than type. For x1, the cumulative frequency is 6. For x2, the cumulative frequency is 6 plus 5 equal to 11. For x3, the cumulative frequency is 11 plus 7 equal to 18. For x4, the cumulative frequency is 18 plus 2 equal to 20. For x5, the cumulative frequency is 20 plus 2 equal to 22. The total number of observations is 22. Thus, n is equal to 22, which is an even number. n upon 2 term is 22 upon 2, which is equal to the 11th term. n upon 2 plus 1 term is equal to 11 plus 1 equal to the 12th term. The 11th term is 2 and the 12th term is 3. Therefore, the median is equal to n upon 2 term plus n upon 2 plus 1 term upon 2 which is equal to 2 plus 3 upon 2 equal to 5 upon 2 equal to 2.5. Now we will study about the mode. Mode The observation or observations that possess maximum frequency that is greater than 1 in the given data is called a mode. Mode may or may not be unique or may not exist. Now answer the following questions. Find the mode of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. The answer is, since no observations as frequency greater than 1, mode does not exist. Question 2. Find the mode of 1, 2, 4, 2, 6, 1, 2, 7, 2, 8, 7 and 3. The solution is, we will first make a frequency table. Here the observation 2 as the maximum frequency that is 4. Therefore, mode is 2. Question 3. Find the mode of the following frequency distribution. The answer is, your 15 and 25 have the maximum frequency 6. Hence, 15 and 25 are both the modes of distribution table.